Turning our attention now to the ASX, here's Matt Burney and Bulls and Bears with the latest public company views and interviews. Welcome to Bulls and Bears, brought to you today by Mineral Explorer Power Minerals, ASX code PNN. I'm Matt Burney and I'm joined now by the Executive Director of Power Minerals, Mina Habib. Hi, Mina. Hi, Matt. Okay, so Power Minerals has a potentially large-scale copper-gold porphyry project in Argentina, a kaolin halosite project near market leader Andromeda in South Australia, and a nickel-cobalt copper, J with Rio Tinto, also in South Australia. However, the company's immediate focus is on its lithium brine project in Argentina's revered lithium triangle that is surrounded by some of the biggest players in the lithium brine market. OK, Mina, your Salta lithium brine project in Argentina, how much ground does it cover and how many tonnes of lithium carbonate equivalent have you got there in terms of a jork resource now? So we've got 14,000 hectares in total and the current jork resource is across 12 alphalars with a total of 239,000 tonnes of lithium carbonate carbonate equivalent with grades up to 330 milligrams a litre of lithium. Okay, so one of the biggest hurdles to getting a lithium brine project off the ground is the sheer scale of the evaporation ponds that you need to build. But you seem to be developing a workaround for that, right? That's correct. So we recently signed an MOU with a global lithium extraction company, a Chinese company with a proven technology. They've worked 25 years on fine-tuning the technology and they've got eight commercial plants globally. And so that technology can extract the lithium without the need for the evaporation ponds, is that right? That's correct. So it aims to deliver a low-carbon, environmentally friendly and highly efficient lithium brine extraction solution, which for us is a game-changer. Are all types of lithium brine amenable to the direct extraction method rather than the evaporation pond method, or, or do you need a particular type? I think the best way to answer that is you need to run tests using their systems, and we're currently in that process, so we've shipped over 80 litres from each cellar, and we've, the first stage has been successful, so we're now waiting for the physical brine to arrive and those tests to happen with the hope of moving towards a executed arrangement. What sort of grades did you get out of those samples? So when we tested it, it was 335 milligrams a litre at the Rincon Solar, 241 at the Kawasi Solar. So that's, you know, for us, we've had positive feedback from management at Sunresen and we're looking forward to also running tests at our Pasita Solar, which we have 7,000 hectares there. I see you've just kicked off a geophysics program at Salter. What's the strategy there? So the strategy is to get a better understanding of what we're working with. We're looking at, you know, factors such as water, we're looking at greater drill targets so when we kick off our drilling campaign we'll give ourselves the best chance of finding the most brine. Mina Habib from Power Minerals, thanks for joining me on Bulls and Bears today and remember we're only here to give you information not advice which you should of course seek independently. I'm Matt Burney and this is Bulls and Bears. For more public company CEO interviews go to the money page on the 6PR, 2GB and 3AW websites and click the public companies tab.